Welcome to day 18 of Vader, which we all know is a dirty lie because it's actually only the 17th of April at the moment. But I'm doing this one early so I don't miss out entirely. Um, now I'm doing this video as a response to an, well, indirect tag from um, Sabina, which was a getting to know you sort of um, quiz. So I'm going to try and get through this really quickly so it's not a really long video because it's 20 questions. Um, so let's get started. Number one, am I named after anyone? Uh, no, but people often think that I am. My full name is Danielle Penny Lane. Um, so I always get the question of, oh, are your parents really big Beatles fans? Uh, no. <laughs> the short answer is no. No, they don't like the Beatles at all, actually. Um, but my doctor's name was Penny, and they liked that name, so they gave that to me as my middle name, and I'm quite fond of it, so it's a good name. Uh, number two, when was the last time you cried? Um, hmm. That's hard because I cry a lot. Uh, I, I'm an emotional crier. I get stressed and I cry and I watch a sad movie and I cry and I watch a happy movie and I cry. So I'm just trying to think. The last time I teared up was last night looking at a Tumblr post of Arthur from Merlin crying. So that is a good example of how easily I cry. Um, a serious cry would have been a couple of weeks ago while watching a movie which I can't remember the name of. Number three, kids. No. Number four, if you were another person would you be friends with yourself? Hmm. Um, well it, I'm gonna go along the same answer as Sabina. It depends if I'm the sort of person who likes the things about me that I am. Um, I think so, but I think I would get annoyed at myself quite often, so I think I'd be sort of one of those sort of on-again, off-again friends. <laughs> Number five, do you use sarcasm often? Um, yes, but in a really obvious way. Like, I, if I lie, I do it in a really obvious way, so you definitely know I'm doing it. Um, and I'm the same with sarcasm, because I get thrown off by subtle sarcasm and others, so I don't really like to present it. Um, so usually it goes along the lines of, hey Danielle, can you hand me that spoon? No, as I hand them the spoon. That is probably the extent of my sarcasm. Number six, would you bungee jump? Yes. If given the opportunity, I would do it. I probably wouldn't do it under my own power. I wouldn't go to do it, but if it was presented to me, I would definitely jump. It sounds like heaps of fun. Favourite breakfast cereal? Um, so first place is kind of a shared one between uh, Lucky Charms and the limited edition Pokemon cereal because the limited edition Pokemon cereal was my first experience of marshmallowy cereal. You don't really get those in New Zealand, you mostly get healthy ones and then slightly sugary ones, but I really love Lucky Charms and I really loved Pokemon cereal. Um, other than that I'd probably go with Honey Nut Clusters because they're so yummy. First thing you notice about someone? Um, we are probably, strangely enough, hair, then chin, then clothes. Not sure why, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> Number nine, happy endings or sad endings? Definitely happy endings. I really, okay, when I go to see movies, I go to be happy and feel good about myself. So I like happy endings. I really don't like um, unfinished endings or sad endings. Number 10, favorite smell? Um. I'm gonna go with anything that smells yummy, like foods, but not really sweet like fruits. So I like vanilla and lemon and rose as well, like smells like toast to light rose. So I guess I like things that, that smell, taste yummy. Number 11, summer or winter? Definitely summer. I really don't like the cold. Um, I think if it snowed, I would like the cold a bit more because at least I have a visual representation of how cold it is. But it doesn't snow here, so it just gets cold and miserable and grey and just I hate it. I don't hate it, I just like it. Um, but I really love summer. It's sunny and warm and I just feel really good when it's summertime. Number 12, first from home you've been? Um, it's kind of hard. I've been a lot of places that are pretty far from home. I'm just trying to visually imagine the world map. So it's going to be either Canada or Japan, but I think Japan's closer. So I'm going to go with Canada. Number 13, special talents. I can't think of any, to be honest. I don't have any like cool party tricks or interesting quirks. Um, I'm going to pass on that one. Uh, number 14, where was I born? I was actually born about two blocks in that direction from where I currently live. Um, 
So I was born in Upper Hutt, New Zealand, and then we moved to Australia, and then we moved back to New Zealand, and moved back to the same area. So that's interesting. <laughs> uh, number 15, hobbies. Um, I'm gonna go with vlogging at the moment. Um, I don't really have any other hobbies that I do. I spend a lot of time on Tumblr, but I'm not sure if that would class as a hobby. It takes up my time, but it seems like a weak hobby. <laughs> uh, number 16, pets. No. My parents don't like animals. Um, we have fish, but that's the extent of all the pets we've ever owned. I used to keep snails when I was little though. Um, we lived in an apartment block and there were heaps of snails in the garden, so I used to collect them and keep them in, in like egg cartons. So that's probably the closest I've personally ever had to a pet. Number 17, favourite movie. Uh, this is really hard and I'm actually dedicating the entire video to listing my favourite movies because I have a lot of trouble picking a favourite. Um, but in the top rankings is probably uh, Hook or um, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks are probably a top of my favourites. Um, also the whole Back to the Future trilogy, I just... Uh, I can't fault it, it's brilliant. Uh, 18. Siblings. Uh, yes, just one sister who you met the other week. Uh, she's younger than me and her name is Kelly and she's cool. Uh, number 19. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, either a collections manager at a museum or a curator at a museum. I also want to release a book. Of any type, probably a reference book, but I want to release a book in my lifetime. That would be super cool. Oh, I should also mention that it's my lifelong dream and goal to have a wing of a museum named after me. Don't ask, but when you're walking around a, a uh, university and there's all these wings dedicated to awesome people, like, man, I want a wing dedicated to me. That would be so cool. And number 20, uh, tagging this to other people. I'm gonna cop out and just say if anybody wants to do it, they should totally do it because I can't think of anybody in particular I want to tag for this. Um, so I will be seeing you guys on Friday, um, hopefully with a montage or with a montage shortly after that. Um, so I will see you then. Hopefully you have a nice couple of days and yay, bye.